Well, once again, good morning. And today is USS South Dakota Day. Yeah, and we're rotating through five different coffee cups. This is today's. Remember, Kevin Waterman sent us this. Must be about, must be about a year ago now, eh, Kevin? Anyway, yeah, it's one of my favorites. Now, I, I think though that you know, my favorite cup, I can't use anymore. It's this one here. And uh, it sprung a leak. I remember, I remember one time uh, I tried to patch it back together. I, I think I did fix a hole in it, uh, or a crack, and it worked for a while. And then it cracked again. So, uh, yeah, then I think it was, I think it was Jonathan sent us an, a brand new New York uh, mug, which I think is tomorrow. Uh, anyway, yeah, th this one here was my favorite. I got this at Macy's Department Store in New York City. Um, I'm trying to remember the year. It was around 1982, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it was around 82. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, where, where was I living when I got this? Yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, we are pretty much where we left off uh, last night after the rollback. I did uh, work on the railing a little bit on this thing and Let's, let's just roll back and, and see how we got to where we are right now, and then, then we'll continue on. Okay, I'm uh, guessing that probably a couple of hours has passed now since we uh, stopped messing around with this little part in the last episode probably about four hours and so I think for the most part the uh, extra thin has has uh, dried and evaporated out of the plastic and I, I think it's probably fairly safe to handle and uh, a couple of things I wanted to mention here uh, f first of all I had no idea until I went to do the final edit just how much I had recorded and and that's why the episode was was late it was, it was just it was like 35 minutes long and uh <laughs> i was uh, pretty surprised i'll tell you anyway enough about that we we eventually got it and eventually it kicked into 4k and it's uh it's up and people are watching it as i speak right now um <clears throat> now um uh, I keep saying that these are the same as the ones that we did on the hood, but they're not. There, there's, there's differences. First of all, there, there was these photo etch pieces here that, that the ones on the hood didn't have. And also there is uh, pieces that the one on the hood had that this one doesn't. For instance, I can recall on the, on the back, the... Uh, there was something that got plugged in, sort of a, I think it was sort of like a telecom type type thing. That, uh, at least I, I think that's what it was, and it uh, you uh, it, it plugged in right about right here where I'm touching, and I think that the there was more photo etch involved. If you remember, on the front of it, there was there was a railing on the front, which this clearly does not have. Uh, but it does have these ones here that go around the back. So what I'm going to do this evening, all being well, is I'm going to try and put one of these on this one, and then as near as I can tell, that will complete one of these one of these guns for the Rodney. Um, it just it looks very similar to the hoods, but it's different. Anyway, let's let's see if we can uh, get one of these. Thought as long as I'm all set up to nip off uh, photo etch, I may as well just 
quickly get it done. And I, I did the rest of those in probably about 10 minutes or less. So it uh, makes a lot more sense to do it that way. Now you can see where where this this one is going to go in, in on right here. And then this one here is going to go here. And then this the, the post is probably going to fasten right around there somewhere. But you can see that this entire thing is round. There's, there's a radius going on. It's it's not it's not sort of like octagon shaped, if you know what I mean. Um, so even though there are folding folding lines, in fact, I, I can even see it. There's a, there's a folding line there, and then there's a folding line here, and and so on. Um, I I think that it might even actually be stronger if I was to work it into a, into a radius and uh, just keep working at it until I got it small enough that it sort of fits on there. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I'll get one of my steel dowels and uh, just sort of roll it back and forth. Well, you know how we did it. So uh, let's give it a whirl. Okay, I just uh, picked this dowel at random here. It's I don't even know what size it is. I just thought this looked like about the right size. And uh, I could have maybe got a, a smaller one, but the problem is when you take a, a really small one, you can suddenly get your radius really small really fast. So I think it's got to go just a little bit more here. All right, let's just let's just try that. Oh my goodness, we're just about dead on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try and change that. I think I'm just gonna. Unless maybe. Unless maybe just a tiny little bit. On the corners here. I know your angle isn't quite right. You should be higher looking down, right? But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, okay, I'm going to just reposition everything. I think we've, I think we've pretty much got it here. At least I think we have. That steel doll looks pretty big when you move in with the macro lens, doesn't it? And we're not as close as we could get. If I got in as close as I could get, then I wouldn't be able to get this whole thing in this in the field of view. Okay. Everything's pretty much the way we dropped it here. Now I'm going to try not to move it. Okay, you know, I I do believe I could have maybe bent it just a little bit more. You notice how these these posts they should be they should be here, not out here. Um, okay, I'm just going to do that off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, I guess I bumped this out of the way here. No, maybe I made it too small. No, I don't think so. I think it's I think it's pretty close here. 
Yeah, I think it's pretty close. Now, wonder if I can, wonder if I can turn this up so that you can get a better perspective without knocking it off. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to get pretty tired here, and when I start getting tired, um, I start making mistakes. So I'm gonna call it uh, quits here for this. Okay, speaking of making mistakes, I forgot that my memory card was filling up and I was just adding on and adding on and instead of switching to the other card. And uh, I think I started to say something about I'm going to call it a night. So, uh, you know, all being well, we'll see you in the morning. I think that's what I was going to say before the thing quit. Well, it is morning, and we must be uh, oh, about a third of the way into step two, maybe not even that far. And there's a lot of stuff further down that we have to make yet, and several, several of some of them. Um, like we have to make six of this thing. Now, I, I think I'm going to reposition this because it's just not quite at the right angle for for mounting this on it's going to have a tendency to want to fall off so i think i'm going to take some blue tack and stick this thing on the end of a to me a paint jar or uh, i think uh, my aussie friends and maybe the uk friends they call it a pot and maybe in the comments below you can clue me in on that. I'm pretty sure you call it a, a paint pot. Anyway, let's uh, stop poking here and get ourselves repositioned. Okay, having it set on the rotator serves a couple of purposes. First of all, I can, you know, adjust it this way and that way so I get it just right. Now, I know it's not as good as holding this thing in my hand. But if I want to be able to video it uh, at the same time, then this works pretty good. Not only that, uh, being as that it's centered like this, even if I spin it right around, once I put the macro lens on, it's going to stay in focus regardless of which way I turn it. Um, now, I, I did thin out our medium here. If you remember, I was talking about how it, it had gone thick on me. In fact, it, it was thicker than thick, uh, but it was it was still working. Anyway, I thinned it out a little bit here. So, uh, okay, let's uh, get our macro lens on here. And uh, first of all, let's kind of do a bit of a dry run. You know, I, I think that the thing to do is just glue this bottom rail down first and then let it cure and then, then, then sort of adjust everything else the way it's supposed to go. And, uh, you know, I wonder if... Okay, you remember these things? Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they'd be just a little bit too. Well, I don't know if I could get them in there. Uh, thinking out loud here. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna push uh, stop, and we'll put our macro lens on.
we push this down. How is that going to come? Okay, I think that this this was something I can point better with. And maybe these tweezers are a little bit finer. Okay, I do believe that this rail here is not supposed to be sitting on top of that what looks like a little box. I think it's supposed to come in just just behind it. I'm probably going to knock the thing off here now. Oh, sure. Okay, something like that. You see that this is supposed to be just in behind that box, not on top of it. Now by, now by behind, I mean closer to us. Um, so, uh, Maybe what I'll do is, I'm, like I mentioned, I'm just going to put some, some CA right there and let that cure. I might use the curing agent to speed things up because we don't have all day here. Okay, I think that, I, I, now I, I know that the, the other side here is too far in. Trying to move it out. Okay, I'm just going to swing this around so I can get at it better myself here. I know that you're not going to be able to see it too good, but at this point, I think it's all about me, not about you. Oh, that was rude. Okay, now it does appear to me that this bottom rail is just about right. If I could. Okay, do you remember I was talking about those uh, those clips? Why don't I grab one here? I found a better one. Okay, here's one of the ones that I that I I had adjusted, and I I loosened the the tension of the spring so that it, it doesn't clamp down quite so hard. The problem is, in order to use this thing, it has to. It has to come up from the bottom, which means that our, our paint jar has to be, and we have to, we have to readjust things. Um, maybe I'm just going to do that off camera and then I'll reposition here, which means I'm not going to be able to use my uh, rotator. At least I don't think I can. Okay, time is marching on here, and I am going to close this episode off pretty quick. But before I do, um, what I did was I'd, I'd messed around with these things, try, trying to get it to clamp or, or your uh, railing down on the side. And that little box that I was talking about earlier, it was, the corner was just too close to the edge. In fact, fiddling around with it, I actually bent the, the rail where it goes past that box. I've since straightened it out. But uh, I, I thought, well, why don't I take my uh, photo etch knife here, and I call it a photo etch knife, but uh, actually it's just a homemade thing for those of you who keep keep asking me. Um, and I don't mind if you if you if you in the comments if you ask where did I get this, I'll I'll mention it. Uh, where did I get it? I made it. Okay. Yeah, so what I did was I trimmed off the corner. However, when you look in really close, it looks a little bit ragged. Uh, you, you don't notice it at a, at a distance, but <laughs> close up you do. Now, years and years and years ago, uh, I bought this. Probably 40 years ago. It's, it's a tester's version of to me, an extra thin. Okay, and I had I had learned that you could use this stuff to to take rough edges off of off of plastic. Like if you were to sand sand your plastic or something, and it was a little bit on the dull side, where you could bring the shine back if you wanted to, as long as you didn't use it too excessively. So I I had this stuff for for many years, and I think uh, <clears throat> Mark in Australia mentioned 
uh, that uh, you can also use the the tamiya extra thin and uh, yeah uh, however what I'm going to try here is the extra thin quick setting uh, I think that it'll if I'm if I'm careful and don't put too much on we're not going to lose the shape of the box and we should be able to take the rough edges off so uh, let's uh, stick our macro lens on. Where is our macro lens? Here it is. Okay, let's put our macro lens on and uh, get in as close as we can and see what happens when we paint that with the quick setting. Okay, now I don't want to use too much. I think once that dries, it's probably going to dry really quick. Maybe we'll do the time lapse thing. Maybe I don't even need to do the time lapse thing. Maybe should I do it one more swipe? Let me check the monitor. No, let's leave well enough alone. I think we took took out the uh, got rid of the little burrs that were there. Okay, let's see if it's going to be easier now to place this. I would think it will be. I think my radius is too small now. Because if I get it right here, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flatten it out a bit. This one down just in behind this. Oh, bear with me. Okay, it's taken a moment here, actually, several moments, but I think I more or less got it. Trying to get everything all in the right place at the same time just wasn't working out, but I've sort of got it. Now, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to use the medium, the CA medium. I'm just going to use the CA thin and just let it wick its way underneath this back rail. Because if I try to use the medium, it might stick to it. There. I don't know if you saw that, but I saw it. Just, just a tiny little bit went underneath there. And uh, then we can reinforce it with the medium. Um, but you know what? I think I'm going to call today's episode of the day. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Neighbor comes over for coffee. Today's Monday. Okay, we'll just, we'll just let that uh, cure. I think I'll let it cure naturally. And uh, check it out in a couple hours, I guess. So that'll be in tomorrow's rollback. So thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.